Hi, my name is Karen Gaborik, and I'm super. Hi, my name is Karen Gaborik, and I'm superintendent for the Fairbanks North Scarborough School District. Thank you for joining us from around the world for this very special evening, and to join us for the North Pole High School graduation ceremony. Hi, my name is Karen Gaborik, and I'm superintendent for the Fairbanks North Scarborough School District. Okay, folks, it's just going to be about another minute, so if you don't have a seat, please find your seats, and then we're going to start this thing.
Wow, what a lovely day. Good evening, guys. Welcome to North Pole High School's Class of 2021's commencement ceremony. My name is Zeta Lapari, and I'm the student body president. <laughs> Thank you. All right, those of you who can, please remove your hat and stand for the presentation of colors by North Pole High School's Color Guard and our national anthem sung by North Pole High School Choir, directed by our lovely Miss Maroney. You guys may be seated. Okay, well, welcome everybody. Class of 2021, North Pole High School graduation commencement ceremony. It's been a long four years for some and a very quick four years for others. I'd like to introduce the guest we have with us, school board clerk, Joya Sanderson. School board member, April Smith, Assistant Superintendent, Luke Meinart, and your selected teacher speaker, Mrs. Nancy King. I'd also like to recognize the parents, graduates, find your parent, give them a wave. Their guests, your friends, your teachers, the staff you've worked with, and the, who worked with you these past four years. And finally, the graduates. Congratulations, you're almost there. Yeah. 
James Bryce, your class has selected you to give a speech. Come on up. In case you guys didn't hear, my name is James Price, and I'd like to thank you all for voting me as the student speaker. For those of you that don't know or remember, on May the 11th of 2017, I stood before the eighth grade graduating class of 2017 and gave a speech. I remember being sad about all of us splitting up and going separate directions. Today makes that day look like a walk in the park. I wish I could say that standing here before you all and giving a speech is nostalgic, but the magnitude of today is much, much larger. I remember walking in my freshman year, five inches shorter, and feeling lost with my life because my life was now full of decisions. What classes should I take? Where should I go for lunch? And most of all, what will senior me think of all the decisions I make now? And if I could go back and talk to my freshman self, I would tell him to be ready for the craziest four years of his life and to invest in Tesla. I would tell him that he is so smart to have taken Spanish as a freshman and gotten it out of the way because there is no way senior me would have made it with my senioritis. I would say, James, enjoy your time in Miss Savage's class and not having to do homework unless you got four marks on the naughty board. Appreciate sitting on the crusty couches in Miss Alexander's class because they're not going to be there your senior year to take a nap on. And somehow, some way, your senior year will go by in the blink of an eye. Maybe it's because about 75% of it was online. Maybe it's because you slept through 90% of the 75% that was online. Or maybe, just maybe, you were having fun and trying to hold on to your last years as a kid as it slipped through your fingers. Despite that, tonight is a night of celebration. I'm sure everyone you talk to tonight is going to congratulate you for graduating. I've decided that's overdone, so instead I'd like to congratulate you all on surviving. The past year and a half have been crazy. Quarantine made us all into different people, and because of that, I can confidently say as a class, we have faced one of the most adverse high school conditions ever, and we somehow managed to make it through it all. We made it through four years, four principals, eight semesters, a couple different haircuts on Mr. Slagle, <laughs> Emily Meyer getting her license, a pandemic, and the unlucky ones of us even survived one of Miss King's classes. We couldn't have done it without the help of our teachers who pushed us and struggled with us this year, our parents who sacrificed and put up with us, and our friends that never failed to encourage us to be better, or in the case of my friends, never failing to have terrible ideas and somehow convincing me to go along with it. So thank you to everyone that kept us on our path. Your effort was not in vain. We made it. And just to get the thank yous out of the way, thank you, Miss King, for having a weird obsession with Andrew Jackson. <laughs> and thank you, Andrew Jackson, for never failing to get Miss King off topic. <laughs> thank you, Miss McFetridge, for giving us a whole week to write a 10-line poem. I promise I used my time wisely. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for never grading my work until the last minute. You taught me true patience. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bex, for keeping me on my toes because I could never tell if I should be scared of you or feel safe in your room. Thank you, Mr. Balick, for never being able to write the correct numbers on the board in chemistry and giving us something to make fun of. Thank you, Ms. Missler, for letting me and Matt Johnson connect all the old 9-volt batteries you had and shock ourselves. <laughs> Not to mention all of the other numerous labs that we did while you just nervously laughed and watched. I won't go too in-depth as to not get you fired, but most importantly, to all the teachers from all the students, thank you for everything. Now on to the inspirational part. During the eighth grade graduation, I left you with a quote. People make the goals, but goals make the person. Now looking back, I have no idea why I thought it was such a good quote, but what I do know is that as we grow and change, so are our goals. And I ask each and every one of you to continue making yourselves better people. Like I said earlier, we thrived through adverse conditions and we will continue. Regardless of your career choice, all of us will be successful in life. Success is not something defined by money, but by the effect you leave on other people. I have no doubt our shared struggles have made us all a little more compassionate and experienced and in turn, a little more successful in the future. I'm not gonna bore you to death with inspirational stuff, but I'll leave you with this piece of knowledge from my freshman year that has burned into my mind. Do today what others won't, so tomorrow you can do what others can't. Thank you, class of 2021, for the memories, and thank you all for making it out here today to watch us take the final step into adulthood. Thank you, Mr. Price. 
we will be sure to keep you updated with Mr. Stegel's next hairstyle. Our choir will now perform A World We Cannot See, written by James Popolis and directed by Ms. Maroney. The song is written as an encouragement to young singers around the world to nurture and develop one's inner spirit and personality, as well as to accept others for who they are. This energetic piece is in English and Swahili and celebrates the journey of our individuality, which is one we cannot always see. Thank you for this uplifting song. And as promised, Mrs. King has a speech. Here she is. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy for you. Look at the sun, your family, the staff. I mean, this is a great evening, a great night. And congratulations, even though James says it was overplayed. But you deserve it, OK? And I really do want to thank you for choosing me as your staff speaker. Although, someone did tell me that 
I wasn't your first choice, that it was part of some sort of senior prank and that there was some sneaky snake activity going on with the vote count. But you know what? I don't care. I'm here. The elections have consequences. Oh, well, you know, at least, you know, I mean, it's happened before in an election where some nefarious vote counting has taken place. Just ask Andrew Jackson. He'll tell you, it's happened before. It could happen again, maybe, I don't know. So, but you guys would be the ones to figure that one out. But I'm here for you guys, and we're all here for you guys. We're celebrating you. When James was talking about 2017 as an eighth grader graduating, you came in as a freshman class, 221 members strong. The beginning of your junior year, pre-COVID in the fall, that number had dropped to 154. Today, you're 88 members strong. You're setting a record coming across this stage. You're setting precedence. I hope in the future, you're able, North Pole High School, to always have this outdoor arena setting. It is fabulous. Ms. Bex, great job. So, my job <laughs> tonight is to maybe give you a few words of wisdom going down that path that you're starting out on now. I just, you gotta be careful because there, there's, some, there's some funny things out there. There's a lot of Larry's out there. I know about Larry's, I had one. When I was 18, I ended up going out into the Aleutian Islands, worked in a cannery, huh? met a lovely man named Larry. He was a fisherman. As in love, he said after the season ended, let's go to Petersburg. I'm, I'm gonna fish down there. I'm like, okay, Larry. My family was so upset, but I was in love. And they said, honey, you can't live off love. I said, oh, I think I can. I found out in short order, you can't live off love. You gotta, you gotta have somebody that's gonna work with you on that same path if you choose a significant other. I wasn't gonna give up on Larry because he was gonna prove me right that I wouldn't pick um, a disappointing person. But he proved me wrong. I was disappointed. He was a big fat disappointment. And I had to make up my mind after two and a half years. I'm like, this is a commitment, darn it. I gave up two and a half years of my young life. I gotta move on though. I gotta cut my, I gotta cut my losses and move on. So I broke up with him and I was bitter. I was really mad. I was mad at him, I was mad at me. So I took a job oh, from fishing to logging camp. Oh my gosh. Flew out to Hobart Bay. Still bitter. After a few months, I met this guy named David. Ha! Huh. My life partner, David. And so I thought, oh no, <laughs> Larry's all right. Because if it, not, if it had not been for Larry, I would have never been in Petersburg and would have never flown out to Hobart Bay and met my David, my happiness. And that's you guys. Larry, I think it's, I don't know what the word is. I'm not an English person. Is it an analogy? An analogy? Okay, an analogy because you guys are going out into the real world. You're gonna find yourself choosing jobs that turn out to be disappointing, big fat Larry's, okay? But it's not the end of the world. You can change it up, you can move on. And don't be afraid for making a mistake. You can't say something is a mistake if it leads you to a better place. You're gonna be fine. Just be brave enough to make those mistakes. And now I'm gonna do my lecture, because that's what I'm good at. Higher education's where it's at. The trades, the higher education, just do something. And when I say that, it, it is Thomas Jefferson who said it best. Thomas Jefferson, he said, knowledge is power. It brings power to the individual. It brings power to the individual. Knowledge is, half, no, first like safety. It brings you safety in the choices you make. The more knowledge you have, the safer you are. But then he ends it with knowledge is true happiness. And so the more you know about the world around you, the more happy you become. So when you land that dream job of yours and you find out it's miserable, it's happened to me before, don't be afraid to just go back and make some changes and reach out again. You can go back and do some more school, some more training. Remember, now this is so important guys and gals. You're gonna spend more time in the workforce than you will with your loved ones, with your family. And if you ain't happy, that's a sin. 
you got to be happy. So that's what brought me into the field of <laughs> education. Because you all know who's had me. I like money. And money does buy some great material things. But if you don't have time to play with them, what's it worth? So, but also, my family. I was spending less time with my family and I was missing out on so many great things. So even though the money was amazing, it's like, I gotta make a change. And so I went back to school <laughs> 18 years ago. When you were born, I go back to school at age 44. And I earned my teaching certification. And then what happened after that, I found my forever home here at North Pole High School. My forever job, my forever work family, my forever David family. And I couldn't have landed in a better place. This is a beautiful community. I'm ending my journey and you're beginning yours. It's amazing. But also, another member of our North Pole High School family, Ms. Claire Swisher. Ms. Claire Swisher, oh my goodness. Claire, I'm tearing up. I'm so happy to have known you. She is amazing, gentle, calming presence in our resource department. Claire is tiny, petite, gorgeous. Some might say a little bit dainty, but I, wouldn't, I would not say that about Claire. She's leaving some big boots to fill. And I think Paul Bunyan would have a hard time even coming close, Claire. We're going to miss you. I think Claire and I both agree that it's been a great ride here at North Pole High School, a good gig maybe but you guys too class of 2021 you might miss this place too in a little bit after a while and there's confusing times that you're headed out for i mean a really confusing world right now <laughs> there's goodness out there but don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it and please offer help to someone who is in need and i'm going to end real quick because i know it's getting long but i was thinking about this past year with covid Ugh the irony and the impact that COVID has had on our society. We've been told it's our patriotic duty to get vaccinated and I'm all in. So I went to the clinic to get my vaccination and the lady asked for my photo ID. And I'm like, oh, does Major League Baseball know about this? And she looked at me and she was kind of mad. And I'm like, seriously, we're never gonna get the all-star game up here if they find out about these IDs in order to get the vaccine. She didn't think I was funny at all, but I did. So, <laughs> and then I got to thinking about Yogi Berra, baseball. I love Yogi Berra, New York Yankees catcher, team manager. And he used to say these things that never made sense, but it, it's all making sense now to me. One of his favorite things that he said is like, when you come to a fork in the road, you got to take it. And I'm like, what does that even mean? But now I know you've got to hit it head on. You can't be one foot in and one foot out. You just got to go for it. So I'm going to end up pretty soon here. I haven't been fortunate to have many of you in my classroom. Some of you I've taught. Some of you that I've taught have brought great joy and happiness to me by either entering the classroom and others by exiting the classroom. And you know who you are. But <laughs> either way, I ended up on a happy note. <laughs> so, but you all definitely have left an impact on me and our staff everyone at North Pole Community, and we wish you, as a team, we wish you good fortunes in life and in love. I love you, North Pole High School, class of 2021. You live your best life. Toodles. So I think uh, Matthew Johnson, Casey Lambris, and uh, Mariana Bex might enjoy a chance to come out of the rain and give their valedictorian, and salutatorian, and historian speech. So come on up. They've worked extremely hard to achieve their milestone. Their consistent classroom excellence has enabled them to reach these ranks. We also recognize the school that they did not achieve this alone and with the families of Matthew and Casey, please stand. Parents and siblings, thank you for the time and effort you'll put into supporting your child in this accomplishment.
state fans may be seated now a few words from our valedictorian and salutatorian. Thank you, Principal Story. Our names are Mariana Bex, Casey Lambries, and Matthew Johnson. And we are the valedictorian, salutatorian, and whatever third is a Torian of the class of 2021. We are delivering this speech together today because at the time of writing this, our GPAs were separated by less than one one hundredth of a point. Before we begin, we would like to thank some people who've helped us tremendously over the years. Thesaurus.com for making us sound smart. Spark Notes for saving precious time, and Wikipedia for the most credible information. But actually, we would all like to thank our families, teachers, and coaches for pushing us to be our best and giving us the support we needed along the way. And without further ado, we'd like to share with you all the story of North Pole's favorite class. Twas a dark and stormy night. Or maybe it was an overcast morning, I can't really remember. The cast of 2018 was preparing to enter the realm of adults when the building, when the budding class of 2021 entered the halls of North Pole High School for the very first time, marking the start of an arduous four-year journey. 2021's quest began under principle number one. By being thrown into the deep end, they quickly learned what it meant to be in high school. We'll give the jet time to pass over real quick. Uh... All right, um, they quickly learned. <laughs> Dang, who hired these jets for comedic timing? There Are there any more up there or like? <laughs> All right, they quickly learned what it meant to be in high school, the joy and reward of being on a sports team, the laughter filled lock-ins, team trips and musicals. The life-changing experiences of traveling to exotic locations like Europe with Ms. Hollett or Costa Rica with Ms. Missler and Ms. Bex. However, 2021's swift adaptation to Patriot life was just the beginning. There was a lot more to come before their time at MPHS was up. As sophomores, 2021 was no longer at the bottom of the high school food chain, and North Pole was under new management. Finally comfortable in their new setting, the young class was coming out of their shell. So naturally, they decided to cut Slagle's luxurious flowing locks to raise money for the engineering club. And what would become an infamous assembly, Slagle donned a mullet and stash, becoming the first person in history to pull off this bold style choice. A new year meant another new principal. Mr. Fink's reign, the third in 2021's time at the high school, marked the beginning of life as an upperclassman. They started the year out strong with an attempt to burn down the school using mac and cheese. Which needs to be microwaved with water, by the way. Despite this failing, their desire to consume sustenance during class could not be tamed. Ms. Alexander's AP kids always found ways to incorporate Mr. Uncle Joel's chalky milk into the lesson plan. Events such as these marked a time of particular joy for the class of 2021. And then the longest spring break in history happened. Don't fact check me. 2021's high school experience changed dramatically when they returned as fully fledged seniors. The new administration was no surprise, considering 2021's long-standing history of scaring out principals. But they went a step further that year when they drove Miss King to retirement, too. In honor of her departure, and to the despair of the custodians, 2021 plastered the school with thousands of images of Miss King in all her glory. In Miss Snyder's AP government class, communism was not only studied, but practiced regularly, and the Commerce Clause was the answer to every problem that arose. And just like that, four years had gone by. The same class that needed to ask directions to navigate the upstairs is now sitting here, ready to graduate. Our short time at North Pole High School flew by in the blink of an eye, but we have finally reached this milestone and must step into the next phase of our journeys. Some of us are going to serve our country, others continuing your education or learning a trade, and some are jumping right into the workforce, and others of us are still unsure of what path to take. With whatever you pursue, just remember, you're not cheating if you don't get caught. If you're going to do something wrong, do it fast. And the yellow light means go faster. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you, Beth, Matthew, Casey, and Mariana for your incredible example of resilience, hard work, humor, and friendship. It's obvious that you have sharpened each other along the way. Tonight, we wanna do some celebrating. We wanna honor the hard work and resilience of the entire class of 2021 and recognize your future plans. If you've received a scholarship, please stand. Total scholarships earned for this small but mighty class totals $1,072,452, yes. Anyone who has been accepted into the trades, please stand. Awesome. If you've been accepted and are planning to move into the United States military, please stand. If you're entering into the workforce, please stand. Thank you. Everyone who's overcome obstacles this year, despite the challenging circumstances of a global pandemic, you've pushed through and you're here tonight to receive your diploma, please stand. I should see everyone on your feet. Yes, let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations, class of 2021. There's gonna be a lot of standing and sitting tonight, so graduates, you may have a seat. We wanna take this moment to reflect on all of your accomplishments over the years. Who has been there to support you and how you've grown to own your own successes? Parents, families, friends, members of the community. I've had the great honor of getting to meet and work with these students over the past year. And this class is a very talented group of individuals. Although I have only known them for a short time, it is my privilege to usher them into the world of new adventures. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Distinguished members of the Fairbanks North Star Board of Education and Assistant Superintendent Luke Meinart, I would like to present for your approval, North Pole High School's Class of 2021. As Assistant Principal, along with our Principal, Mr. Story, we hereby certify that all of the students standing before you tonight have met the requirements as mandated by the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District and the State of Alaska. Fairbanks North Star Borough School District Board Member, Ms. Choya Sanderson, will be accepting the class and Chief Master Sergeant Bradley Spilinick will be reading the class names. So good evening. Before I accept the graduating class of 2021, I would like to say a few words to you. As a school board member, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being here in this space tonight. You've pushed through a year like no other. As I look out at the graduating class, there are many words that come to mind. One right at the top of my list is resilient. You've demonstrated that even when the world around you was in chaos, with policies made and unmade, plans followed and not followed through, and the world looking for answers, you pushed through to this moment. Thank you. Staff, family, special guests, and administrators, they did their very best to assist you to this moment. Every ounce of their energy, 
creativity, and their frustrations supported you. For this moment, I want to thank you. Administrations of North Pole High School, teachers, staff, parents, and relatives and guests, as a representative of the Fairbanks North Star Borough Board of Education, I acknowledge and accept the students before you have completed their graduation requirements as set forth by the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District and the State of Alaska. On behalf of the Board of Education and the School District Administration, I congratulate you on your accomplishments. Okay guys, you know what comes next? First row, please remain standing. The rest of the rows, please look at your ushers. Ushers, please sit all but the first row. Good evening. Tonight it is my honor and privilege to announce the graduates of North Pole High School class of 2021. When your graduate's name is called, you are encouraged and expected to make some noise. Tonight is their night, so let them hear you. Clap, cheer, stomp your feet, shout hallelujah. Or simply relax in your seat and breathe a great sigh of relief. Let's get started. George B. Allen. Amaya L. Anderson. Jared James Arnold. Sarah Beaver. Mariana Bex. <laughs> Luis David Bonilla Rodriguez. <laughs> Alec Brinzo. <laughs> Carter Reed Brown. Katherine Brown. Jaden Bust. Katie May Burke. Kate Buckowitz. Daniela Faith Conkey. Pamela Suzanne Crow. <laughs> Lindsay Cruzan. <laughs> Dakota Lee Darby. Joel Aaron Denham. <laughs> Naya Derendoff. <laughs> Laura Beth Donovan. <laughs> Kinley Morgan Erickson. Alex James Garcia. <laughs> Co 
Sylvie J. Garcia. Lauren Elizabeth Garcia. Ryan Joseph Geese. Cody Gens. Oliver Maurice Hansen. Brandon Ansel Hilliard. Alec Xavier Hoekstra. Amber Rose Holland. Cameron W. Hunt. Caleb Paul Johnson. Matthew Johnson. Josiah D. C. Jones. <laughs> Tyler Gage Jones. Nicole Eloise Kathleen Knudsen. Casey J. Lambries. Ryan Lash. Charity May Leon. Jaron Lindgren. Zeta Lapari. Vicky Ann Lovelace. Dylan Lance Malamute. Corey Menon. Emma Jade Manuel. Emily Mary Marvin. Christy Lee Massey. Chance Michael Mathena. David Anthony Mattox. Jex McCormick. Trenton McCumbie. Carissa McGrath. Emily Meyer.
Harley H. Morris. Cody Osborne. Megan Marie Parrish. Lila Catherine Placco. Brandon Plambeck. James Thomas Price. Johnny Putnam. Toby John William Quiros. Abigail Grace Reed. Austin Dean Rood. Gabriel Ryan Rope. Seth Roop. Princess Iana B. Salas. Elizabeth Renee Shoemaker. Lathan Paul Saniva. Wendy Lee Short. Ainsley Levine Smith. Kyle Preston Stoles. Emma Joanne Van Sickle. Brian Ethan Vasvari. Katie Lynn Vinton. Riley Allen Walters. Damian Washburn. Christopher J. West. Katina Weisel. Don't even want to do once. You can't come back. How about one more round of applause for our newest NPHS alumni? to sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. We have reached the end of the graduation ceremony and I've come upon our final task. Initially, I thought about writing a really long speech to go here just to make you guys sit a little bit longer, but luckily for you, I won't do that to you guys. I just wanna say congratulations. And I hope you all enjoyed your time in high school and did everything that you wanted to do before officially entering the adult world. Be sure to enjoy life, guys. And always remember, it's not life without a little adventure. Before we complete our last task, I was told to tell parents that they should take their kids' banners home with them to help with cleanup. 
and the banners are all along the fences over here, okay, just in case you don't realize. <laughs> and also, I was told to tell the teachers to please get in your positions. And now, class of 2021, on the count of three, we are going to turn our tassels from right to left. Oh, please stand up. Yeah, stand up first. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Gotta make it dramatic, right? All right, are you guys ready? One, two, three. Congratulations, guys.
Thank you.